Holly, hello, and a happy rock and refashion Easter holidays to you. Today, I am going to share with you a few of my absolute favorite upcycled DIY last minute gifts, most of which can be easily put together using bits you may already have lurking about your house. So let the eco holiday festivities begin. This is Confession of a Refashionista. Okay, let's get making these groovy upcycled last minute gifts. Now we're going to start in the kitchen. And for this, all you need is an empty jar. I like to call this my cozy comfort soup. And as you can see, all I've done is glued a little figure on top of the lid, painted it, a pretty color and then I just layered a bunch of dry goods with some spices into the jar. We have beans and rice and lentils and like I said some of my favorite spices and then I add the instructions of how to cook it and uh, yeah an adorable little soup in a jar ready to uh, you know feed someone during the holidays. Next we have another jar gift. <laughs> And this one here, you just, <laughs> yeah, this one is quite funny. Um, all you need is a little stuffy, and of course I stole this from my child. Glue that along with a bit of decorative ribbon on top of an empty jar lid. And then for this one, I just went ahead and layered uh, a bunch of snacks inside. So yeah, that uh, makes a really super duper quick and easy last minute gift for, you know, when you're walking out the door and ah, I need something really quick, make one of these. Also, actually even easier than that one is another jar gift. And again, all you need is the clean empty jar, some candies that you probably already have somewhere around your house for the holidays. And uh, yeah, glue some fabric over top of the lid and um, just have a sweet little gift to give someone. Now, next, also from the kitchen, we have what I like to call the instant host or hostess gift. And now for this one, all you need is, of course, a little gift bag, a adorable little serving tray, fancy crackers, oysters, some little serving forks, and toothpicks. And now you take this to uh, the party you may be attending, hand it to the host or hostess, and they have instant hors d'oeuvres. And here, Another gift from the kitchen. There's a lot of gifts from the kitchen, but hey, the kitchen gifts really are the easiest ones. Now, this here, again, everybody has extra cups in their cupboard. And if we just uh, open this one up and we shall see what is inside. Alrighty, inside we have a coaster a coordinating cup, some lovely green tea for relaxing, and a most excellent hot and cold softy. La la! <laughs> now, these are so easy to make. All you need is a little softy that has no metal or plastic bits on it, and then all you do is a bit of surgery, really, and chop up the seam on the back, remove the stuffing, refill it with rice, and you can also add your favorite scented oil to the rice, then just simply hand stitch it back together, and you have a wonderful little hot and cold pack. Now pop it in the microwave for a minute, and it's lovely and hot, or throw it in the freezer for an hour, and it's a nice cold pack as well. Subscribe to my mom's channel, follow her on social media, and buy her ebooks. Yay! Thank you! This one everyone absolutely loves, and it is crazy quick and easy to make. Let us see what it is. And it's also incredibly useful for just about everyone on your list. La la! A headphone organizer holder. And as you can see, all this is, is two clothes pins that I have glued together with the opposite ends facing out, and I painted a little design on it. 
and then all you have to do is wind the headphones around it and each end of the headphones gets clipped to each end of the clip and it stays in your pocket, your purse, your bag, and the headphones don't get tangled up everywhere. Score! Now, gift boxes and bags can really get expensive and it's just such a waste because all you have to do is look in your recycling bin. This pretty little gift box here is just a cracker box that I deconstructed and then reconstructed inside out and then just drew a little red and green design on for the holidays. This here is, uh, again, stolen from my child, uh, but it makes a nice gift topper and she never will notice that it's gone. Now, if we open this up and see what is inside, we have a pair of absolutely adorable uh, Lego warmers. Now, all these are are the sleeves from a long sleeve t-shirt that I chopped off. Now, because the long sleeve t-shirt is made out of t-shirt jersey, it doesn't fray. And in fact, if you actually stretch the chopped end, it will curl back up on itself and give you kind of an instant little lettuce hem. And then all I did was I hand stitched, these are shoelaces, that I stuck some pom-poms on the end. And uh, yeah, how super duper cute is that? Also, if you have accidentally shrunk a sweater, you can just chop the arms off of that sweater and you have instant leg warmers as well. And because the sweater has been shrunk, the fibers have all kind of fused together and the chopped ends will not fray, which is fantastic. Next up, we have this absolutely adorable little gift. Now, I've wrapped this in a very simple furoshiki method. If you don't know what that is, that is simply the Japanese art of wrapping up gifts with fabric. And it's very, very simple. Um, you basically are just knotting fabric around the gift. And then whatever fabric you use can also become part of the gift, like this adorable hanky. Now, of course, this is from my actual vintage hanky stash, but fantastic vintage handkerchiefs that they're just gorgeous and they can easily be found at loads of different thrift and charity shops. So not only is it the vintage hanky, it is also this fantastic little bowl. Now, lots of people have this kind of little china bits and bobs in their house that are just kind of sitting there gathering dust, so why not re-gift it to someone who will appreciate it? And I also have two rings that are then in the bowl, transforming it into a ring bowl. And these, again, are from my stash, and I bought them and then just never really wore them. So now they will be going to someone who I know will absolutely love them. And again, all of this, this is four gifts in one. Now jewelry and accessories are always a welcome gift, at least in, in my mind. <laughs> so I thought I would also share my crazy quick and easy last minute bubble earrings. And of course, they will be gifted in this adorable box that I got at the thrift store. And again, these type of little boxes are everywhere at thrift and charity shops, garage sales, everywhere. This one is extra cool because it actually has a description from the artist who painted the top. Now, here we are with my adorable holiday bubble earrings. Now, these are crazy easy to make. All you need is a mini holiday bubble, you know, to go on the tree, decor, what have you, and a little earring hook. You can even upcycle a pair of earrings that you may already have that you don't wear. You just remove the hook and add it to the Christmas bubble. These come apart very, very easily, as you can see, <laughs> and you just have to be careful when putting it all back together, especially if this 
part is made out of glass. But yeah, I've had mine for more than a few years and they are still going strong and looking fabulous. As I just said, jewelry and accessories make awesome gifts and they're even more awesome if they are useful as well. Now, here is something that I made in just a couple of minutes. It is very, very easy and ta-da! It is a change purse necklace. Now for this, honestly, this was so easy. This is a change purse. I think it was 25 cents at the charity shop and it is adorable, fully functional, of course, nothing wrong with it. And all I did was add a couple of big jump rings through the holes that were already there on the sides. And then I uh, put the chain on and have a very cool change purse necklace to give to someone. Hey, score! This one here I am very proud of because not only is it adorable, it is again also very useful. Now all this is is a bath puff that I kind of popped the string through a hole in this jar's lid. And uh, yeah, it actually, it's, it's useful and it makes kind of, you know, the decoration on top. So <laughs> the decoration then becomes the gift. Inside the wonderful little jar here are a whole bunch of adorable little bath items that I have just collected along the way on my travels. So here's some little mini shower gels, some uh, very eco-friendly soap, um, shampoo and conditioners, some lotion, oh, and even a fancy little eco lip balm. And uh, yeah, pop everything inside and put the string there, pop the lid back on, and there you have it, a fabulous instant gift that anyone who enjoys bathing will absolutely love. And again, all of these little items they can take with them on their travels too. Now here's a gift that is this quick to put together and all you have to do is raid your own bookshelf. Go ahead, collect a few of your favorite books, bind them all up with a ribbon and gift them away to someone that you know shares your same taste in reading materials and I guarantee they will love it. This next gift is absolutely personalized and really quite special. Um, now, all I did here to create this fancy little gift bag that also doubles as a shopping bag is I took an existing shopping bag, just one of those freebies that you get, and I hand stitched a sweater, the bottom of a sweater, over top of it, and now it is a fancy and extra sturdy shopping bag that is also being used as a gift bag in this case. Now inside here, like I said, these bags you totally personalize for the person you are giving it to. Now in this case, this is kind of a jokey yet useful gift, and um, inside we have a couple of bathroom books, some uh, air freshener, a bit of toilet paper moistener spray, and a couple of rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> Now, as I said, these type of kind of last minute gifts, you really are just kind of going around your house and finding things that fit with the person that you are going to be giving it to. But uh, as I said, these are fantastic and you can personalize them <laughs> however you want and they are loads of fun to put together. Um, especially if you have someone in your life who has actually been coveting something of yours that you are, of course, willing to part with, pop it in a gift bag and just enjoy the joy on their face when they open up this item that they have been coveting from your house, your wardrobe, 
wherever. However you celebrate the holiday season, please have a wonderful, safe, and festive time. And let's make 2019 the year where everybody starts living a more sustainable, eco-fashion, rockin', refashionista lifestyle. And until next time, I'll catch ya on the zigzag.